tudo bem com vocês? Bom dia, boa tarde, boa noite pra vocês, boa tarde pra mim. Tudo bem com vocês? Eu estou muito bem hoje, eu espero que vocês bem também. I'm going to be sharing with you guys some experiences that I had in Brazil, which were not nice. You guys, this list was hard for me to make. Like, I don't have a lot of points, I don't have a lot of things that I'm going to be talking about in this video because usually I have the time of my life. Tô com saudades do Brasil comida, pessoas. Meu amigo, lá, entendeu? I'm gonna show you guys some things that happened to me with pictures so you guys will understand what happened. So, let's talk about Belém, alright? Belém. Belém, Amazônia, Açaí, Paraíso. Well, if you follow me on my Instagram, you may know this story. My body has an allergic reaction to mosquitoes in Northeast and North Brazil. São Paulo, fine. Here in Holland, not a problem. The mosquitoes are fine. But in Northeast and North of Brazil, I don't even know if it's a mosquito that bites me. But I have problems with mosquitoes. So in October of 2019, I was visiting Belém. I have made a whole video about it. It's linked down below. It's beautiful. I did amazing things there. It was an amazing trip. I had so much fun, you guys. This was on my, that's my leg right there. That, that's me. That, that's my leg. Basically, I'm not sure if it's mosquitoes or anything else. Let me know if you live in the Northeast and North. What the fuck? happened to me because every time that I go to the Northeast Brazil, it happened. This mosquito bite would hurt so bad that I would be so exhausted from scratching. The last day I had to cancel a plan that we had because I was in so much pain, you guys. My legs were swollen. Uh, walking was harder and if you live in Belém or if you have visited Belém, it's a very humid condition so it, it would be very hot. I would be dehydrated. I was in a lot of pain, okay? The last day we had a meeting and for me that was really important because I wanted I was gonna meet you guys and I did not want to be exhausted so I had to cancel my last plan and go to the meeting that I organized for my people in Belém. The next thing that happened to me is when I came back from Salvador the carnival. So basically I was in Salvador for three days. We have two carnivals and one day of like sightseeing. I have a video about Salvador too, link down below. Did not have that much mosquito bites because there wasn't really time. <laughs> but the last day, which was on a Saturday, I came back from the carnival 1am. I headed to the airport 2am. My flight back to Sao Paulo was 4am. I landed in Sao Paulo 7am and I came to my apartment and I was looking at my leg and I was like, Bitch, what? I don't know what that is. It was not painful. I could stand. I literally saw it the moment I was getting ready to go to bed at 8 a.m. in the morning because, you know, I was, I just came back from the carnival in Salvador. Glitter all over me. Burned because, you know, I'm super pale. I burn really easy. Like a comet on in the plane and my ankle was looking like that. I don't know what that was. It was not painful at all. So I was like, okay. I wake, woke up uh, the next day, the same day, but later in the day, and it was gone. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. Later on in the day, I felt sick as hell. Okay, I was I was to the point where I could not even shower anymore because I would literally feel like I was got faint. I don't have any pictures of those days because I was in bed the whole day. I think it was food poisoning. My stomach was upset. I couldn't eat. I couldn't drink anything. I could not really stand up because I was walking like this. I got really, really sick after Salvador. I changed my flight. I was supposed to fly on Saturday. I ch changed it to Wednesday because I was like, I am over this. I want to go home. I packed up all my stuff, put it in my suitcase, didn't wash anything. I packed my bag and I went to the airport the next day because I was like, I'm so sick, I just wanna go home. The next experience is also very painful. So I was in Sao Paulo and I was almost going to leave after three months of staying there. And um, I went to the hairdresser and they asked me, do you want like a facial routine? Like, we're gonna massage your face, da 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 da. And I was like, yeah, sure, but um, I have some pimples right here, I told her. So like, you have to be a little bit careful. She's like, oh, it doesn't look like you have a lot of pimples, it's fine. Like it. So I go up there and she takes off my makeup and she is like, bitch, what? This is what my skin looked like. And 
I didn't tell anyone because I was embarrassed, okay? I, you know, I had acne before, like especially last year. I was in a lot of stressful situations. My acne well, that was so bad because, you know, I had just graduated by school. I was, I was, I had a lot of acne on my face. So for me, it was a lot of pimples, but it was like, eh, it's normal. This lady tells me I have a literal bacterial infection going on in my face. She had to use needles to open up these wounds to get it out. And I was crying in that chair because, girl, that hurts a lot. And also after I came back from Salvador, this is what my skin looked like. You know, maybe it's because I'm just not used to the weather in Brazil. I'm not used to the shower. Like here in Holland, we have uh, a different kind of water that we use. And in Brazil, you have a different kind of water. So my hair always get really dry. My, my skin always gets really dry. The last thing that happened to me when I was in Brazil, which made, um, which was not really good. When I was in Brazil for three months, I had the biggest saudades to my home. And it was so so weird if you have ever traveled to a, uh, a different country that um, you loved but you still had this desire to go home I cannot even explain it to you guys right now you guys know Brazil is literally my favorite country in this world and I love it I love going there the first month I was there with my boyfriend we had an amazing time I was like I can live here I can live here I have my boyfriend here we're fine like we had such an amazing time the moment my boyfriend left uh, I went to Mocajuba to film a campaign with Fruchi, which was amazing. So I came back in Sao Paulo after uh, a week, like traveling and stuff. And I had the biggest saudade that I have ever felt in my heart. The point where I was literally sick. I was ill. I was crying my eyes out for at least like a week. Um, in October, I started to get back again, but September was the worst month of my life, which was also the best month because I had amazing experiences. Thinking back to it, I remember my happy moments very clearly, but I remember my sad moments. Like, I would cry myself to sleep. I would have a really busy day recording videos, come back, and be by myself. It was not Holland that I missed, it was my family and my boyfriend and I was dying because I missed them so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I realized I have never told you guys this story before. So this is like a little story time, things I didn't like when I was in Brazil kind of thing. This video is kind of a mess, but I just wanted to talk about some things that I've experienced in Brazil. Follow me on Instagram, seguir uh, meu Instagram, inscrever no meu canal, deixe um like, Comentário também. Eu amo vocês demais e. Sim,